Well, I'm Bruce Shandy, and today in Homemade Science, I want to take a look at Newton's Cradle. Now, I've made this out of a number of different materials. I've had students make it out of glass marbles. A larger one hangs from my ceiling that's made out of four pound bowling balls. And here's the world's smallest one made out of steel BBs. Now today's investigation I thought would be fun to try. I've made Newton's Cradle using five water balloons. Now I'll start by releasing this various ways and see how they behave. And then since it's winter outside, I can let them freeze and then try them as solids. Which one do you think will give us better results as Newton's Cradle? Well, to give you a hint, let's take a look at this water balloon as I drop it. Will water balloons act as Newton's Cradle? Let's give it a try. Let's try two at once. Let's take a quick look at a more traditional version and see how they compare. I think we see results most like the traditional model when the balloons are released simultaneously from opposite sides. During the collisions, we can see quite a bit of deformation taking place, especially watching it in slow motion. Now that we've seen how the water balloons behave, it's time to move these outside. Well, it feels like winter's certainly done its job. This is nice and frozen. According to the thermometer, it's about 24 degrees. Now the question is, will Newton's cradle work any better with ice balls than it did with the water balloons? Before we make that prediction, let's drop this on the table and see how it behaves. Now let's give it a try. Well, that's surprising. There's hardly any movement by the ball on the opposite side. Instead of a compression wave, it looks like the momentum of the first ball is simply pushing the whole series of balls forward. Let's try releasing two of them. Let's try from opposite ends. Well, that was very disappointing. Why didn't they work better? How well Newton's cradle works actually comes down to the properties of the materials that are put into the spheres and how they behave when they collide with another surface. For example, if I drop this onto foam rubber, not so good if I drop it onto a steel plate. What we're seeing is an example of a nearly elastic collision. As the ball hits a surface, it may compress, but it returns to its original shape with very little loss of kinetic energy. The same is true of these pool balls striking each other. Eventually the collisions will stop as the kinetic energy is slowly changed into thermal energy from friction and also sound. Now here I have a balloon filled with sand, and if we watch this when it's dropped, this would be an example of a completely inelastic collision. 
In this collision, the balloon can't return to its original shape due to friction of the sand. Its kinetic energy is changed into thermal energy and sound. So Newton's cradle is going to work best when the balls are highly elastic. It doesn't matter whether we're looking at just two balls. We can see the same behavior if we use 16 balls. I would say the water balloons gave us much better results, plus they're more interesting to watch. The latex rubber is highly elastic. We can see it stretch and deform during the collisions. As it then loses energy, it tries to return to its original shape from before the impact. The balloon deforms whether it's hitting the table or another balloon. In comparison, the frozen balloon collisions are very inelastic. When these collide, we simply see the momentum carry the rest of the pile forward. Part of the results may be due to the shape of the ice. With a small area of impact, even a small force applied would result in a large amount of pressure at that point of contact. It might be enough for regelation, which is the melting of ice under pressure to take place, or there's another possible result of the collisions. Let's take a closer look at dropping an ice ball without a cover on it. Some of the energy may be going into causing small fractures to appear on the surface. And of course, with more collisions, the ice crystals would continue to break down and lose their structure. Well, I hope you enjoyed these versions of Newton's Cradle. Now, I do have some ideas for other materials to use in this, but if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and come back and see me again. Okay, bye!